Getting ready to hop into game number one of this best of five. And it's like he's going for early boots, uh, at least as an early build. And another Primal Spring there on top of OP. They don't have raises yet, but if a level one maybe can find a kill here, this would be oh, fabulous wow. for his start. So many souls and so a great beginning to this. Protect OP, and they just want to guarantee that OP, oh man, it's too little too late. Oh, uh, maybe possibly Boundless Strike. One hit actually misses one of those raises, but he will die. They end up taking a return kill. Try and pull maybe back inside the tower range now. Slowed up as well. Bobako on top of him. Yao, they might be stepping their bounds a little bit too far. Can they kill off? Maybe they have a haste oh, rune. They have the Chronosphere on to three. One raise, two raise. Can they find more? It looks like they will be able to. Burning just barely going to get away. I mean, they've also got Epicenter. They've got everything. This is like the ultimate team fight for them right now. Ame jumping forward, trying to find it. They get the hoof stump off. Can they bring him down in time, though? The global, he catches on to three. Is it going to be enough, though? They need to get out the Epicenter Burrow strike, trying to go for it. Wukong's command comes out, trying to keep the rest of the side of IG back. But they've already taken down two, and now the rest of IG needs to run away. Monkey King looking for a catch, oh, looking no. for a kill. It didn't end up breaking the tree, yeah. so that's not that four-second stun on to Monkey King, but he's still not going to be able to quite catch up to him, and it looks like OP will possibly go down. They have Burrow Strike again in 0-1. No, he's not in range. I'm not sure why they didn't end up going back for the Epicenter, but in the meantime, they take down, down maybe. Oh, uh, possibly. Burning, dropping low. Can they kill him off? No, the time lapse. And it's back up. And this is a tier two. Oh, okay. oh, all right. Chrono right away. Why not? But now they steal it. Chronosphere taken by the Rubik. And they need to be a little bit careful here. They drop down the silence as well. Laguna Blade time walks it away. Ame going to live through this. And now they end up throwing out the global. They lose the Rubik. I've seen Alina go for first sudden blunt stun. Oh, they're going in. Global silence comes out as well. Try to take down XXS. He's the only one caught in that epicenter. He is going to fall. But will they be able to get anything else? They pull back XZ, trying to bring him down. That's the Laguna Blade. They also so we're able to control and bring down Monkey King. If he could go down here as well, it'd be huge. Wukong's command is now gone. They can chase maybe off to the side. Yao trying to run away as well. Ame does have Chrono. Gonna jump, turn, drop it now. OP, this would be a huge kill. They take one. Doesn't look like they're gonna be able to take more than that for now, at least. And now, even if she comes back in the fight, what's she gonna do? They gotta oh. contest this Roche. They broke the blink. Really well played there. Gonna go back in now. They need to be careful, though. They drop the cloud. Q running in. Has Burrow Strike. Drops it on to two. And now they drop the glow as well. Lift on to maybe. He is going to bring down Q though. Right click's coming in. They drop the chrono onto Burning and OP in a lot of trouble. Burning needs to get out of there as well, but OP wants to go back in. Trying to bring down maybe the epicenter onto XSS. They pop the stampede and now up to IG's defense. Oh god, this would be huge. They go in, Global is there. They're gonna decide to turn on to Burning, but the poor staff not quite gonna be there. The Epicenter hasn't killed him off yet, but the right clips from maybe will. And now you also take down Q. Void can't easily take that much damage. Oh, this could be a big moment right here. They see Burning, Burrow Strike is there. Chronosphere onto two, the Global to follow it up. They are all going to die. OP most likely to fall as well. Well, no, actually Shadow Blade, really good movement speed out of there and well now can possibly turn this one m99 gonna be controlled they want to bring down this monkey king it makes it a little bit more like they weren't even planning on hitting op there um it was no. it was most likely just to ensure that they got burning at the very least but now the jump forward they're actually on the back lines already ame trying to bring these guys down but he's being controlled is he going to end up being killed off as well that time walk range is absurd and that's what he decided to go for. Still stuck in the cloud. If they can quite play him down, this right is going to be though. enough. They take him down. Turning now and taking this fight, he's going to start doing a lot of damage. And well, it looks like XZ trying to get back towards the shrine the right to keep clicks. him alive. The right click's coming through, and they do kill off that Monkey King. Void buyback. But I don't know if it's really going to matter. Honestly. Chrono is up, but it's just him. And we said that Shadow Fiend was the meat of the damage. All right, Chronosphere down, catches onto the Weaver, trying to bring him down, Wukong's command as well. The Burrow Strike isn't enough, no! He gets the time lapse off, Burning gonna live through it, and now they're gonna turn, they're gonna fight. No. Everything goes wrong. Oh man, that he Lotus Orb. Actually, he didn't get the time lapse off when he needed to Lina Sudoku to give him that burst HP. Oh my god. I All right, here we go. The final countdown, double sentry for double true sight, but 
Well, they're going to be on to XSS. That's not the person you want to initiate on at the very start of this fight. They're going to get the Lotus Orb off. Also has Stampede if he wants to use it. He's already committed it now. And, well, they dropped the Chronosphere. It's on to two. Burning still so survivable through all this. They're going to be able to kill off OP, but he's going to be back. Well, actually, not that long. 36 seconds away. Oh, they dropped the Stolen Chrono. Controlling on to three of LGD. The Void was still doing stuff, but they lost maybe because of it. Rubik doing the damn thing and now going to be able to take a little bit more. Ame so low. Is he going to die? Not quite within range. Maybe, though, is in trouble. Diff bladed up. They've got XSS on top of him. Double edge, as well as some more right clicks to come from Burning for sure. Oh, yeah, was going to end up possibly falling. Bernie loses the Aegis, but they take down the Silencer. And now Bobica looking for more. Whoa, now. Yeah, they getting a little bit too big for their britches. And they're going to need to run out of here. I mean, this is still a Centaur War Runner who just doesn't give a damn, though. And now Ame able to back away. They have another time lapse if they want to use, or rather, excuse me, time walk. OP is back into this. And there's the kill for maybe. Now the kill for XZ. Now the rest of LGD's structures are going to drop and gg call op with this right click lena scaled really heavily for lgd Mirana. they're actually calling for it yeah they have a haste turn. yeah and he has that dust so he's actually getting body blocked by the phoenix boulder no he hasn't used boulder smash yet so we'll be able to kick back bobica and this should be the kill so first blood looks to be going the way of yao and earth spirit has been rolling from the south a lot of the time as now q is going to get air oh my <laughs> god oh how do they know uh, they had all right well we're going to end up seeing q still go down but now they are going to be going for burning rage is going to drop they have it all going to be laid out against him and yeah that's a double kill for maybe they go for moonlight shadow Oh, uh, spots it though. Yeah, they spot him out. There's the jump forward though. They're crushing M99. Global comes out as well. Can they bring down more? They drop the ward now Chrono's and they up. spot out Ame. He is going to fall. Razor was going to the east away from his team. Is now burning. He's oh, careful. nicely done. They get the silence off as well. Well played by M99. But now with everybody here and rage up. But the Chronosphere, that might be enough. They're still in the silence from the Ricky. Can they kill these guys off here? They have the fire spirits. And it looks like with the tricks of the trade, they are not going to be able to survive with their Ricky. Ricky, oh man, they see everyone. Oh, oh there's oh there's a sentry dropped. There's a big light striker. Right there's some more damage. Global comes out as well. M99 is gonna fall. Global is up in 18 seconds. They could think about a fight here as they've been able to take down Bobica right away. But now they jump up on the high ground. Ame pops his BKB, but is he going to be able to get out? They dropped the Chrono right on the edge. It's caught burning, and now Q in trouble. They are going to be able to kill off the egg as well. Oh, no. This has gone terribly for IG. Burning going to get ran down. Maybe going to be able to kill him off as well. They've got the right clicks coming through. He pops a rage. Is able wow. to take down M99, but still... Ame will finish that one Ooh. off, and although we are still lagged out for the moment. Come on now, get with it. There's going to be the dust pop. Bobica getting the damage out. XSS jumps in. There's going to be a fest bomb, I'm sure. They take down one. That's the Earth Spirit already gone, and, well, faces Void as well as dead. Ame, though, does have his BKB pop burning, trying to take him down. They drop the egg, but is it be able to pop? It looks like the answer is no, actually. Maybe it's going to fall. Oh, God, why do you do it to me in the middle of the fight? Everybody from LGD is dead. Somehow, some way, IG end up pulling it back, and now maybe going to be under control. Right. If only she went for a Dragon Lance on top of that, then she could like really attack these Raxes even from low ground, or they can just kill everyone. Oh my God! Maybe gone in an instant. Now Ame turned upon. They're gonna drop the Chronosphere, but trying to take down Burning at this time. He actually magnetizes as well. But is it going to be enough? It doesn't quite look like it. They kill off the egg. Wasn't perfectly comboed together, and as you were talking about. What happens once that Chronosphere comes down? Not a damn thing. IG just all over this team. And this might end up being two lanes of Rax, if not more. There is no buyback on anybody but Razor. That's game. Because now he doesn't have buyback. That's Mega Creeps. This is game two, a 2-0 lead now for Invictus Gaming. And LGD, they haven't qualified for any of the big tournaments at all. Jingu Mastery is pretty useful. And yeah, you're going to see them chase it out. And Jingu Mastery, they're going to be able to get some heals. They get the first blood off onto the clockwork. Um, can they find the angle? Yao's still not showing himself here. They're waiting. And now XSS, there it this is. This is so ballsy. I can't believe this. All right. I, I mean, it works. He holds onto the it tower. Does work. And they bait out a lion to die. That was great. Really well played by him. No. <laughs> Um, I That's wanted... a tall tree. Yeah. Oh, he was on top of a tree. Yeah, that makes sense now. There's the boundless strike. Right clicks. Oh, the turnaround. They get the Sanity's Eclipse off. 
Bobica. Been up here to the top lane. This tier one should fall, although you do have the team. Bernie has Omni in five seconds. Maybe he does not have. He's gonna keep purging. He's gone. Oh, that misses. But they they got this. Yeah. He's not even gonna spend on it. Well, there's the diff blade. They jump in. XZ maybe biting off a little bit more than he can chew. They had finger of death. They wanted to turn it on to Bernie. It'll be more LGD making mistakes than IG making plays. They're gonna go on the centaur. Yeah, want to bring him down. Does still have Stampede available. If he can get out of there, four staff as well. But the Omni Slash is used, and XZ will end up falling. But it's and a lot Ame of ulties literally used. just starts fawme, farming what? Right in front of them. What? Ame? Question mark? Trying to get out. He is going to wave form a way in. Okay, they're going to take this fight. Maybe might end up going down. Finger of Death is going to come out as well. Somehow, some way, we're not lagging in this fight, but the Aegis is now down. There's going to be the Coddle Blast coming through. Can they go for round two? They need to do it. Tournament life on the line. But IG likewise not going to give them an easy one as they jump in. There's the duel immediately. OP going to drop, but they have the Wukong's command. Don't know if it's going to be enough. They also caught him in this clockwork combo. Maybe going to drop, but at the same time, Ame is just too freaking big. Then wasting time to go get a second life. Is it? Wow, they find the Monkey King. Oh, there it is. We talked about this earlier as well. The unobstructed vision, giving vision of the Monkey King up in the trees. A nice hook shot in, and well, they on top of him, again. but well, the Morphling is just going to be able to get out again. No problem. Burnaxi is actually stuck back here. There's a cage match going on. What is even happening over to this side? This He's is just dead. all kinds of hell. And still going for these really risky moves. He knows yeah. that there's a Coddle. All right, well, he's able to jump down, but still going to get dueled. And that's vision onto him. XSS doesn't really have an answer either. Blade Mail is there for him. Burning was able to take down M99, but it looks like with this, OP not going to be able to contain the aggression onto Ame. What's left of you? They four-step XSS to the low ground. But Omni Slash is going to be there onto Yao. The oh, nice. Yule Scepter are going to keep him alive. And now Omni nice. is down. The Counter initiation play is going to come out shortly. Where's Ame? He is going to be able to jump in and just actually, he's got his eyes on the barracks down here at the bottom. He doesn't even care. Going to hit the tier threes. The rest of his team can clean up. Maybe is going to drop. So, all right. They force out the buyback from the lion. GG gets called, and we knew it was happening for a while. So that was a very frustrating way to lose the game, I'm sure. We'll see what this Monkey King's priorities will be. All right. Meanwhile, Bobica, though. Nice to do it. Able to nice kick him kick. back, trying to run, is still in trouble though, the right click's coming through yeah, and, dead. yeah, well, poor Bobica. Completed now, so, yeah, it'll, oh god, well. oh, maybe, they're jumping forward, Sand King went in, that was not the play that he needed to do, he is going to be punished as well. I mean, Lion, Templar, Assassin, Slark, these are not traditionally tanky heroes, at least not at this stage of the game, now top lane. Yeah, they're going to turn back around. This is pretty nice. Wukong command down as well. Q is going to get the blinding light, so he pushes them out. Nicely done there. They are on top of Monkey King, though, and looks like everybody else has decided to say, get the heck out of Dodge. Find these guys on the way out. Burning. There's the Hex to start it off. They're on top of him. BKB pop. They want to try and take this guy down. Maybe on top of him. They don't quite get it, but they finally bring him down. And now Yule Scepter lifting up this Ember Spirit. He does have one Bashed. remnant away, but yeah, there's the Bash trying to escape fully, but OP is still in trouble. They're on top of him. They find that kill the boot. Severely working into the favor of LGD, which is surprising because you have a Coddle. Uh, but OP may be in some trouble to get the counter initiation coming out, but the BKB has already been popped. OP is going to drop. That's Ember out. He does have buyback might need to use it but already maybe a bit too late is burning gonna get chased inside the base here bobica is gone upon as well by Ahmed, but they're not able to quite kill him off so they do finally buy back now on the ember a stun on it two chains as well triple remnant forward and op maybe gonna be able to bring down xz as well he goes for the sandstorm trying to escape there's the counterplay he wants to save this gem desperately boundless strike connects onto four m99 will eventually be brought down and now it looks like ta will get the blink away but but is it going to be enough? Still has Butterfly, turns to fight, but it was never going to be enough. So they get out somehow, some way. With, uh, with Wukong's command, uh, high ground sieging, it's great. Ooh, boy. Oh my god. Oh, there's a big initiation. Yao's gone in an instant. They get the BKB off. They also get the Wukong's command off, but he is already going to go down. Burning finds that kill. Ame trying to take down Q here is going to be able to do a good bit of damage, but the Eclipse did basically nothing. And Gem on the ground. Can they salvage this? They turn now onto Burning. Burrow Strike is there, but they turn onto Ame as well. He's going to drop. Maybe trying to find the kill, but XE able to get out. XXS, excuse me. Triple kill for Burning.
Uh, maybe they can find something else here, though. Maybe on top of, and they take down XXS and Q. He's under some trouble as well. They're able to get that Diffusal Blade off. Ami trying to bring him down. Burning is still here. Large in a charge, though. The Hex is down, trying to find that kill. They aren't quite going to be able to get him. He is still very low inside that hero. Burning jumps out now, and it uh, looks like Bobica able to kick away the Slark. That was such a good play. Ami forced out of the fight by that. All right, now it is still nighttime for another two minutes, but it does not feel right now as if they care at all. They're able to jump immediately onto OP, trying to bring him down. The Geomagnetic Grip again going to keep OP alive. Maybe pops his BKB, tries to man up against Burning. It's not going to be enough. I don't think it was ever going to be enough. They're able to get a good bit of damage out of him. only down to half HP. He's still got the armlet toggles. He's still got everything. He's still got Aegis. They're trying to bring down Bobica here. They're gaining away his mana, but Burning is now on top of maybe. They are still not going to bring down this life stealer. XZ jumps in. He's doing whatever he can, but Burning finds another one. Unstoppable streak. He is finally going to lose that Aegis. He has rage when he comes up. Oh, oh the there we go. There's a first hit bash. That's not bad. They take the kill. Okay. And Maybe Sparta is dead for a good 100 seconds, and oh man, Ame wants more. Yeah, they're He's able to find it. him. Another oh. kick away. Oh. Bobaka. He has a the blink dream. Slark, though. Oh, oh they've got a blink out for Bobaka. He's going to do it. This guy plays some Earth Spirit, everybody. TA is kind of far behind, though. She needs to get over here. We still have BKB for Ame. Whoa. They jump forward, break the hex on top of OP. Maybe he wants to find the kill. There's going to be the Boundless Strike as well. Focus now. Objective gaming, but the Glyph is already there. Wukong's command comes out as well. Going to bash up Bobica, keeping him contained for the moment. And they're still hitting this tower. It is going to Bounced drop Etsy. Another really good stun, but there's good pushback. Ah, uh, Yule Scepter lift up. Yao needs to get out, as does XZ. He's in trouble. Can Burrow strike far away, but will end up dying nonetheless in the end. Hex turning on to Bobica. He's going to end up dropping, but Bernie. He's so he TPs to the shrine. Nicely done there on top of and killing off that Monkey King. And Ame, he wants these kills desperately, but he's still going to take so much damage and able to get the Dark Pact off before the Abyssal Blade finds the kill. But now you got two minutes with no maybe. Yeah, this is a tough one. This is a mighty tough one. Um, Ame jumps forward and catches on to Bobaka, but again, just going to be pushed back. He doesn't have his Shadow Dance for like another 25 seconds, and yet IG does not care. They want Megas. They're, they're making the correct decision here, I believe. Yao will throw out, you know, Hex. He's still silenced, and they just eat him up. Ame doing his best. Lion buys back. There's a Burrow Strike there as well. Slark buys back. Epicenter comes out. It's still not going to be enough, though, as well, Wukong's command. There's not frames in this world that are going to be enough to deal with this. But I think that that is probably going to be about it. Ame will end up falling here as he comes out of the Shadow Dance. And that should be the game. IG are going to qualify for the third major tournament in a row. Burning is back, baby. It's happening.